Hello and welcome to the Ministry of Bridges channel. This channel is about bridges, my bridges, your bridges. And today I'm outdoors, I'm enjoying the summer, I'm on holiday mood. However, in Scotland we used to say that the summer is three days long. Somewhere between May and July we have three days. And for sure this year we had it back in May. Today I bring you a simulation for part of the BREAM workflow. It's just an exercise, a demo, that I've created with Trimble Tools. My name is Gabriel Neves and this is the Ministry of Bridges. Watch out, what you're going to see next is not a tutorial, it's just a demo, an exercise that I've created to simulate the entire project workflow in 20 minutes from the point of view of a bridge detailer. Without delays, let's see it. Here is my Trimble Connect with the, all the projects that I have access. And in this case, I need this Tecla Internal Road project. That's a project that has been developed with the VESA cover line, Trimble Civil and myself. And VESA designed the road and export the alignments uh, in land XML format to Trimble Connect. Uh, and here, inside Tecla Civil, we have all the land XML files. And in this case, I've placed the lines I want to work with in Tecla Structures inside this folder resources for later exchange of information. We can visualize the road data with the triangulation, with the, with the lines, and in this case here, I can bring another model like utilities. Let's bring the version one of the utilities and then turn it on. And I can see here drainage and some foundations for the road signals. Today, I'm not going to explain what is Trimble Connect, I'm just interested in connecting Trimble Connect with Tecla structures. We can synchronize all the information contained inside Trimble Connect into our C drive, like here, I'll show that later, but here we can have, we can see the project there and the same folder resources has here the information and the, all the other information is the same. And this is a very safe method because if we delete files from our C drive, these files are not going to be deleted from the server. It's very safe. If you want to delete files, you need to delete directly inside Trimble Connect environment, such as a desktop or, or web. You can have or not this synchronized with, you, with, with your C drive. It's not mandatory. Now, let's connect this with our model, Tecla Structures model. If we go to import, export, we can launch Trimble Connect application that is here already and I logged in into the project and I create and I added here some of the folders that are available inside this project as you can see here all the same folders so in this case I want to work with those folders and I'm interested in to go to resources we'll give a list of files real time reading the files that are inside Trimble Connect and I want to bring this one highway alignment with embankments as a reference and then rolled over highway as a reference. Let's put this down. And now here, we need to do a simple step as applying the project base point because the information inside Trimble Connect is in real coordinates, but our bridge is modeled near the 00, zero origo, so we need to use the project base point. And now I have here my two references that just come from Trimble Connect as a reference. It's great to bring land XML files, IFCs, CAD files to Tecla models as a reference, but sometimes we need to access this information. And a good example is the bridge creator needs to access the file itself. So the solution is to configure the Trimble Connect Sync app to download some of the data to the Tecla model directly. I can show you the Tecla model folder and I have here a resource folder that is empty and I wish to have the files, the same files we see here, saved there. And now you can imagine why I have in Trimble Connect a folder called resources, because I want those files to exchange directly between Trimble Connect and Tecla structures. So let's minimize that and go to Trimble Connect Sync app 
and I have here all my projects, as you've seen before, when I access the Trimbo Connect, but this one is the Trimbo Connect Sync app, and this is the project I want, and I go to the Advanced, and I created here a set of rules. I have Tecla Full Project Sync, so is the one you've seen uh, down here that brings all the data from Trimbo Connect project to our C drive. If we apply new data on this folder here, it will upload to Trimbo Connect, but will not delete existing files. I wanted to create, and I go to edit and show you. I created a rule to download only the information from research folder into Tecla structures. And it's going to be saved on my model folder and create that folder resources. And this is the folder that I've selected. And you can see here, all these files are going, they are only in the server, not yet in our resource folder of our C drive. So creating this rule, I'm now going to synchronize. And all these files are going to be downloaded. And you can see here being populated immediately the files from Trimbo Connect. So don't need this anymore. Let's see these files. Here are the files that were in Trimbo Connect and we can use later with our bridge creator. If we're using Tecla model sharing, as I am right now, if now I write out all my changes, let's just save the model first and write out, save, all this information is going to be uploaded to the model sharing, Tecla structures model sharing, which means any other user that is working on this bridge will have access to these files. Only maybe a CAD manager could do this uh, process in order to keep the procedure safe and within the standards. So I'm uploading the files for any other user to be able to access those Land XML files. And now I go to my bridges tab. If you don't have it, it's easy to create uh, nowadays a tab in Tecla Structures. And I'm going to launch my bridge creator. If I'm going to read an alignment, I have now the files there. Let me load the pre-save file that I have here. For instance, this one, and this reading the file because I pre-saved and the file wasn't there. Now it is there, so Bridge Creator can read the file and will create part of the asphalt with this file. Working with the Bridge Creator, we can then model the road and the bridge. Let's close and show you already that job done. Today, focus is not how to use Bridge Creator. And I'm just going to show you here already the entire road model using Bridge Creator. The advantage of connecting these lines and not just one single object is then we can apply materials and then we're using the visualization. So here we can see that being created and we can do even more using Bridge Creator to model almost the entire bridge. To keep things simple, let's not change the bridge, let's change the road. Let's put this here. Let's go back to our folder, the version two. It's not here. In real life, the version two, it's there. So we could maximize that and let's assume that VESA just created this version two and is going to put that into the research folder. Now it's inside the research folder. I can refresh the list and I have now the version two, which I'm going to bring as a reference. And it's here. I've seen before, we need to change the project base point and it's there. There were a couple of changes. So the best way is let's hide the original one and even hide this. It's a smaller portion of the road, not to use so much space and the road changed, the, the levels of the road have, they have changed. If I go to this next stage, I need to change my current phase to new highway and I'll jump to bridge creator. The file that we're looking for is not here, the version two. So by now we, need, we know what we need to do. 
need to jump into my sync. You just need, need to do this once and let's synchronize. And now my file is going to be downloaded to my research folder. It's done. Put this down again. And when I want to read that file, the version 2, now it's available. Again, to keep the demo simple, I'm going to load the preset. That's going to be the entire road. I'm going to call it New Highway. Could have kept the same name, doesn't matter. Save. It's here, the preview, and now I can create. I have the new road, so my foundation now needs to be lowered. Let's keep this error there and keep using the Trimbo Connect application to bring more data as reference. I have utilities here. In this case, I have already version 1 and 2. Let's bring first the version 1 of both the drainage and some foundations. Version 1 and version 1. Just change the project base point once again. And let's analyze that. This foundation is there. This one is underneath. So something is wrong here. And our drainage is clashing with our pier. I'm not happy with that. We give feedback to our colleagues. They change and we bring the second version. Let's bring the second version then. I have now, once again, to update. We just did that once. I could have updated the file itself. I prefer to have two files for this demo. I could have updated the file automatically because Timbo Connect keeps different versions of the file. Looks like now the foundations are all right. Let's see the drainage. And now the drainage avoids clashing. I still need to do here some house cleaning. Let's hide the references and this, and let's bring down the foundation. We bring down everything, maybe, let's say, 1.5 meters, just for the sake of just changing. So we lowered the level, and now, obviously, I need to increase the height of my peers. I have rebar on this, it's now being shown, but I need to change the height here, 1500. Modify. Now it's everything in place again. As you can see, it was too much. Let's put one meter just to see how it was wrong originally here. This one's they need to come down three, 300. So now this one goes up to the 500. So this is now updated. The pier is now changed. Let's withdraw. Now we have our new bridge updated. We'll now show a different uh, bridge created with a different uh, workflow. In this case, with the Rhino Grasshopper, a visual script and software plugin uh, for Rhino. I have here Rhino. This is the road that has, was, has been brought as a DWG, 3D DWG. This road is in real coordinates, but then using Grasshopper workflow, we need the first thing we need to do is to move the information to match the Tecla project base point. If we compare this workflow, in this case, if we compare the project base point from Tecla structures, and this value matches exactly the project base point. The information comes in real coordinates and Grasshopper processes that information, put the bridge near zero, 00, and then when connects with Tecla structures, will be near the Oracle. This script has different alternatives for the alignment. Everything can be changed, like the spans, the geometry, the abutments, the deck, peers, and then even eventually later connect and apply reinforcement automatically through this workflow. The focus today is not Grasshopper Tecla Structures workflow, it's just to highlight that if any other bridge has been modeled with a, even with a different uh, model or different uh, workflow can be brought to Tecla Structures. That is what I'm going to do using, again, the Trimble Connect application. And I'm going to bring one version of the bridge to just simulating. It was a bridge created by any other colleague or department or even company and just bring that as an IFC. 
just needs to go to the project base point and here when the exact bridge we have seen with the grasshopper script is a straight bridge with a complex with a complex deck where the span the skew and everything can be controlled parametrically let's for the sake of testing bring the version 2 of this bridge for some reason could be interacting with our own bridge and the version 2 project base point it's not this one not one just put it in place and in this case i'm going to hide the bridge one so in this case i was using a different center line the curve I apply the super elevation with a different profile different placement different skews start and end chainage and all that and the bridge is here as a reference file i'm going to export some drawings to trimble connect drawings they were work in progress drawings created in tecla structures that are here in our document manager and these drawings are files inside our model folder here if i go to plot files those are the pdfs i'm going to send to trimble connect and once again instead of copy paste inside trimble connect i can use the trimble connect sync that is here and i created one new rule in this case just for drawings and let's analyze this rule is a local transfer that transfers data from the local computer to the server this operation uh, needs to be manual it's not a bi-directional i don't want any drawings placed in, into the folder of trimble connect here it's empty i don't want any other drawings there to come to my model it's just one direction from the model to the server trimble connect so if i go back I'm going now to synchronize my Tecla drawings and we're going to see synchronize and Trimble Connect will update those drawings. And the drawings are here available for the entire team. Before showing the drawings, let me just export a new version of our bridge. Let's just select, just redraw this, make sure I don't have rebar for now to be faster and I select the bridge and in this case everything and I'm going to export my bridge one version 2 export a new model I could replace that one but I want to export a new model bridge one version 2 selected objects and Trimble Connect IRP because of the the base point this is going to take a while and I'll show the Trimble Connect drawings while this is downloading. We can see this one, for example, or the SA5, bar bending shadow, or the H2, for example. Here is the approach parapet reinforcement drawing. Let's close the tab. Every company will have their own standards of procedures. Uh, this was just an idea of how this can be done using latest available uh, features. We have seen Tecla interacting with the road references and files, uh, other utilities and shared uh, IFC models and drawings with the project team. The last step is to show all this playing together, the road alignment, the utilities and the updated bridge inside Trimble Connect. It's a large model and we can go to Trimble Connect and just bring, for instance, these utilities here where I have the previous model. You can see here with the clash and the wrong utilities and I have the road information. So I can hide the version one. I'm going to hide the utilities. They are wrong. And now I'm going to bring the new updated information. It's not here yet. So let's just upload there and make sure it's here yeah now it's here i'm going just to download and it will be faster you can open any file that i've prepared and load and unload models the way uh, I, I wish in this case it's empty just with the road and i'll bring the bridge one version two and the drainage version two and the foundations so now i just need to turn it on turn on everything and we can see now the peers 
the hour drain and is not clashing with the drainage and the foundations for the road signals are in place. I hope you took something valid from this exercise. It's time to say goodbye for today, but before that, I'm going to leave you with a question, especially if you live in the USA. Do you know what WBE means? Take some time and use the comment box below. I'll be right back. Support your Bridges channel by leaving comments, like and subscribing. Meanwhile, enjoy your summer. I'm enjoying my spirit. Oh, bollocks. It's raining. <laughs>